Hi, my name is Lexi Hall and today we are going to be talking about polymerization in organic chemistry. We are going to specifically look at polymerization of radicals and answer the following question. The question we are going to answer is how does chloroethene go through radical polymerization and what are the steps that the radical takes? So how does chloroethene go through radical polymerization? The first step would be initiation. This is when we create the radical. So one electron from the double bond comes out to form a new bond. And the second electron comes out to form a radical on carbon. And this is the new radical that is formed through the initiation step. So once we've finished the initiation step, now we're on to propagation, where we have formed a radical, but we are going to transfer electrons to form a new radical from that and start making a chain for polymerization. So now we are going to add another chloroethene. The electron from the radical comes out to form a new bond with one electron from the double bond. And the second electron from the double bond comes out to form a new radical on carbon. And this is the new chain and new radical that is formed from the propagation stage. Now propagation is a stage that can last multiple steps depending on how long you want to make your chain. Polymers can be 100 to 1,000 units long, but for this example, we'll do one more step of propagation. You want to do the same thing and add another chloroethene. The radical comes off to form a new bond, and a new radical is made, just like the last step. And this is the new chain and radical that is formed. So now we are on to the final stage of termination. So because termination is the final step, you want to terminate the chain and no longer have a radical. So you add another radical onto your pre-existing radical chain to form your final polymer. So your two radicals come together and form a bond, and this is our final structure. And so to recap, the radical process goes through three steps, initiation, propagation, and termination. This concludes my video on addition polymerization using a radical. We've talked about three steps. Initiation, where the first radical is formed. Then, propagation, where we start to add chains to our polymer by moving the electron in the radical to form new bonds. And finally, termination, where we add another radical to our pre-existing radical to form a final bond and end the chain. If you have any other questions on radical chain growth polymerization or any addition polymerization, check out this ChemWiki page.